So I started training at 125 pounds and I was exactly the same height as I am now. I was six feet tall. And between the ages of 14 years old to 20 years old, I went from 125 pounds to 198 and a half pounds in competition shape. And that's the biggest gain that I make. And people want to have an understanding of how exactly I was eating in terms of calories. So let's start a little bit my initial caloric intake as I started training and how what I did relates to you. Let's roll credits. So in this video, we're answering the question as to how many calories I was eating when I first started training and when I was making the most gains, going from 125 pounds to 198 and a half pounds in contest shape. But before I go any further, I thank everyone for tuning in, especially those who say it should be a one-stop place for anyone who's been training naturally and without supplements. Thanks so much, and do be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you're first in line to get the new content as it comes out. So let's go straight into it. The caloric intake I was taking in was actually not that high. I averaged anywhere between 2,300 to just about 1,800 calories per day on average. Now, the interesting thing is my protein intake stayed pretty much the same, somewhere around 120 to 125 grams of protein, which if you think about it, was one gram of protein per pound of body when I started out. But when I got to 198 and a half pounds, it was nowhere near that ratio. The funny thing is, as I got bigger and kept on putting on more and more weight as the time went by, I didn't increase my protein intake because I couldn't afford to. Instead, my carbohydrate intake went up. Now, my staples were oatmeal for breakfast, along with some eggs, whole eggs back in those days, a chicken breast for lunch with a lot of rice, and a chicken breast again for dinner, and along with anywhere from one to two, sometimes three peanut butter sandwiches. And so for the most part, I was eating just a little bit more perhaps than what I actually needed to be in a surplus. And there were some days when my intake wasn't even as high as 2,300 or 2,800 calories. As towards the end of the month, sometimes things would get a little bit on the hard side. And at that point in time, instead of having all the meals that I'd normally have, I'd probably have one less. Which meant that at times I was only eating two meals a day and consuming just about 2,300 calories per day. Yet, even though that was less than what a surplus would have been for my increasing weight, I still put muscle mass on. Which leads to a very important aspect of muscle growth. You do not need a ridiculous amount of calories to grow. It simply doesn't work that way. Keep in mind that muscle growth is a survival-based adaptation that all of our ancestors had in response to something that they had to either do to survive. At no point in time were our ancestors eating 30 grams of protein six times a day. It didn't happen. They were not regularly consuming ridiculous amounts of calories either, yet they were still able to increase muscle mass because muscle mass is not necessarily increased because you're taking a ton of calories over how much you actually need. And over the years, I've worked with a lot of athletes from different countries, anywhere from West, Central, and Eastern Africa to parts of the West Indies as well, where I came from. And many who were able to build truly impressive physiques were only eating one or two meals a day, and their caloric intakes were never really exorbitant. For example, my friend Fred Sanya, who ate only one meal a day back in Kenya, but still was able to build a phenomenal physique, which goes to show that it can be done. Now, there were times when I may have a treat here or there, but it was very, very rare grab a Trinidad, at which point in time I'd probably barely get to about 3,000 calories, but that's like literally once in a blue moon. And over the years, what I've always found with those who were trying to increase muscle mass was that the difference in actual muscle mass increase between those who were eating, let's say 200 to 300 calories above what their metabolic requirements were, and those who were eating 500 plus calories above what their bodies needed didn't have that much of a difference at the end of the day when they cut down for bodybuilding competitions. But the ones who bulked up had much more work to do to cut down. 
And the other thing I found is that a lot of people would quit the whole idea of trying to build muscle mass and look really lean and cut afterwards because they hated bulking up. And here's the thing, you don't have to. There's way too much focus on this whole idea of taking in tons of calories and bulking up and cheat meals. When the reality is that so many of us have been able to achieve truly impressive physiques without having to overeat. When I came to the United States, I went from 198 and a half pounds to 252 pounds because I started eating processed foods. I started taking protein shakes and I went from eating 2,800 calories a day to somewhere around 4,500 calories a day, sometimes even more than that. But I really expected that I was going to have this huge increase of muscle mass because I was eating so much into a surplus. And you know what? I blew up to 252 pounds and I felt absolutely terrible. My joints hurt. It was hard to go upstairs. I said to myself, I will never do this again. And I never did. And it didn't make that much of a difference in my overall muscle mass when I stopped eating so many calories over into surplus and went back to my original idea of just eating slightly above and making slow and steady gains over time. And of course, you don't need tons of protein to put muscle mass on as well. So that's a lot to digest because it pretty much goes against the grain as what most people talk about in terms of how much calories you really need to grow. But I can honestly tell you that there are a lot of people out there like me, my clients, and those who I've worked with over the years who've been truly successful without having to do that. And you can do it too. So keep training hard. Know I believe in you. And as always, Excelsior.